Okay, where are we at? Farmington. Yeah, Farmington, Vermont. I mean, <laughs> and the Wasatch Mountains. Too much. Okay. Well, you can cut it. Okay. I mean, I just, sometimes I just want to say stuff. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, go ahead and say stuff. begin our uh, quest to find an, a place to live or apartment to live uh, at this point and we are currently at Mario Sports um, getting Mr. Dan Reese a birthday present it's Dan's birthday as we're here what are you thinking I'm super excited to start this journey we forgot something what the humidity we didn't bring the humidity with us it's hot out it's definitely hot out here but you can stand here all day and not sweat because there's no humidity here. Yeah, we should check and see what the temperature is, actually. Yeah, see what the temperature and see what the humidity is. We'll get back with you on that. But we're going to go into Milo here, uh, shop around a little bit. Then we have our first tour today at uh, Draper Village Apartments. Can't wait to see that. We're going to bring you guys along. At 2 o'clock. So this is the first place. This is our first place we've seen. Actually, our first day here. <laughs> Within the first couple of hours, we had went ahead and booked this. Um, so this is in Draper. Our biggest problem is finding a place that allows us to use a garage for all of our bikes and longboards and snowboard stuff, so we don't have to park in it. Um, that's tough to find in apartments that have garages. They want you to park in the garages. So. But we really like this place and this is uh, probably going to be on our list, so we're here doing this. Day two, second stop, back down in Draper. Yes. So we'll go in, see what these are like. These look like they're pretty nice. Uh, the surrounding area is a pretty industrial area, but we'll have to go in and see. And of course, we're in Utah, so the views are amazing. Yeah, it's just a little smoky today. Yeah, and actually it's supposed to get even worse tomorrow because of the wildfires, uh, not here in Utah, but from uh, California. So gotta pray for the people in California.
Okay, so nice places on this one, but apparently the pool's been closed for a while. They say that there's a button to hit for something with the filter on the pool, and it's right next to the button for the jacuzzi jets, and everybody keeps hitting the wrong button. It has made something clog up in the pool, and the pool's been closed, and I guess they're not fixing it this year. So what do you think about this pool situation? It's kind of weird, huh? Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird they can't get it fixed. I mean, the pool area is huge. I don't know. We're going to go on to the next one see what we can find. So, of course, if something could go wrong, it goes wrong as we're out here looking for our apartments. My phone is plugged into the vehicle and we're using the Apple CarPlay through it. Display doesn't work anymore. I can't see a thing. All my boarding passes and stuff are on here. So, it's actually got a replacement um, screen on it from a place in Frederick. And I said, they, you know, they're not going to have a, that store out here. I remember what it was. There you have it. When you break a iFix. It's here, so let's cross our fingers um, that they can fix this for me. Things happen. You can't can't get upset over it. You just gotta to go with it and um, ask the Lord for help. Okay, so what was the verdict? I need a new phone. No, the screen's on. Somehow the brightness was like all the way down or something. Beyond. Like Beyond. Low. And actually, when I was trying to fool with it, it actually dialed nine one one and police didn't come. Darn police. I mean, I don't know what to do about that. But I should dial 911 on its own. But it is fixed for now. Hopefully it stays that way. I'm not sure what happened to it. But, um, yeah. Onward for the apartment search. Oh, so, I think the prayer worked. Yes, the prayer worked. Always does. Once you again, always pray. Once again, God comes through. Yes. Something about Utah I don't like. I know what you're going to say. No way, Mike. You found something about Utah you don't like the gas prices it's insane out here 387 for regular unleaded gas but yeah gas prices are really high out in Utah so found something I don't like Okay, where are we at? Farmington. In Farmington, yeah, Utah. Farmington, Utah. So we're looking up around this area. And uh, we're going to go see what else is available. We have one other confirmed tour. Up here, yeah. Up here. ICO Station Parkway or something. So we'll go find that and see where that is. Still in Farmington? Yes, we're still in yeah, Farmington. We're still in Farmington. Okay. Um, day three. Stop two. Stop two. Hopefully they don't uh, run through this the way they did the last couple. Be like they go in like here's the pool, here's the uh, here's the apartment, here's your garage. Any questions? And the tour is over with. Oh wait, every place the pool's been broke. It has. But they're gonna close it at Labor Day anyway, so they're not worried about fixing it. I think that's what the problem is. It's so close to the last day that they're not gonna fix it. Well, it's weird. This is weird. They have a heated pool. But it's not open during the winter. 
and every every pool that's broke it's the heating element so why just not have a regular pool right Go if figure. the heating if the heating element doesn't work doesn't the sun heat the pool up anyway we've had pool before so we know that it heats it up i don't know anyway so here at the uh second place her figure is a little better than the last one the last one was um old and dirty yeah that's where <laughs> having a good photographer comes in because online they look really good yeah and the square footage was like 977 or 944 or oh. 792 some combination of we, that we had more room in the last van that we were in than we did in that apartment it was so small anyways all right so we're here that's definitely eliminated yeah. and that was um avante at farmington avante <sighs> nunzo okay let's head on in what's up everyone well we're coming to the end of our apartment search in Utah it has definitely been a whirlwind of a week um, I think we visited maybe eight different properties maybe ten altogether because there was a couple that we saw as we were driving around that we stopped in to see if we liked it or not so. yeah and just to give you guys an idea just a quick recap of the the distance kind of from Salt Lake City that we were looking at we went as far south as Draper and as far north as Farmington and um, right. so various communities within that area okay so we fly back to Maryland tomorrow morning and um, we've actually secured our um, new apartment and we take possession of it mm, in a couple months maybe have to stay tuned for stay that. tuned for the next um, video and we'll bring you along with us when we actually um, get the keys yep so thanks for subscribing if you like this video be sure to hit the like button like button and the thumbs up and the, give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe yep and thanks for coming with us on this trip to wonderful, beautiful Salt Lake City. Okay, so that's a wrap for this video. Uh, next video is going to be even more exciting video than this. So stay tuned. Until then, we'll see you next time. Adios.